Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen. I am a Taurus Sun and Venus, and today we are going to do a reading for the <clears throat> super full moon in Pisces, which is also going to be a partial lunar eclipse. This is some big, big energy, my loves. Huge, okay? Huge energy that's coming in. So, um, this moon is happening either on the 17th, 18th, depending on where you live in the world, okay? So, this Pisces full moon is... It's a doozy in a good way, okay? Let's just talk about that a little bit before we get into the reading. So for Taurus in particular, it is you being in a state of flow and ease, okay? And this energy is going to last a good three months, maybe longer, okay? So you really need to embrace this energy. Um, it is going to be about identity change for Taurus in the physical body, in your belief systems, it is a, a, a whole new identity. So I hope you're ready. A whole new identity. You're really coming into who you want to be and how you want to be presented, how you want to present yourself, I should say, in this world. I'm telling you, unrecognizable. Okay? And it's a good thing. It's coming out of the shadows, if you will. So you'll be physically changing. You'll be mentally changing. Very much Pisces is 12th house energy. So very much big intuitive hits. Really great for psychic abilities. So it's all connected to power, wealth, success. A lot of you are already seeing this energy, right? Career changes, job changes, more clarity coming in. Uh, having this great new reputation, right? And enjoying what you're doing, whether that is enjoying life in general or enjoying how you bring in your money. But it is a big shift, probably one of the biggest ones we've had in quite a while. And it is based around, I want to make this clear, even though it's that power, wealth, and success, and that physical feeling great and healing, it's also rooted in the fifth house of fun, joy, pleasure. So there's a new karmic cycle coming in for Taurus. And again, it's a profound shift in your spiritual growth. So it's like everything, okay? It's like everything. And it's all very positive for Taurus. So I want you to embrace this energy. Do a full moon ritual if you have one. Um, and embody it. Just embody this change. Do not be afraid of it. I've seen it in some of the comments from some of you uh, because one of the last few readings where ex uh, you might be shocked by getting more than what you expected. And I had a few of you say, yeah, I was applying for a job. And before I could ask for the amount I wanted, they offered me more than I was going to ask for. So keep that positive energy flowing. A lot of you, this is kind of the time also because it's Pisces energy where you will be breaking uh, habits that are not good for you, okay? It could be excessive shopping. It could be uh, food that you ingest. It can, be, it can be people for sure, like splitting away from people, and that's okay. That's the spiritual growth, so there is a sense of your own empowerment here too, Um but really, big change in a lot of ways. Physical, mental, spiritual. I'm, I'm here for it, right? So let's see what we got going on in the reading here. Divine Source Creator, tell us about this energy for the super full moon in Pisces, the partial lunar eclipse. Show us clearly, please. Thank you. Boy. Didn't have to ask that too quick or ask for that too long, did I? Communication is key. We have been talking about this, talking about this, talking about this. Um, and it is. It is going to be key. Yeah, some of you are going to see a strengthening in the way you communicate, a totally different style of communicating. All right. I would say this. I, I would definitely, you know, I would definitely... 
if I were you, and I am you because I am Taurus, remember we rule the throat chakra, okay? So if you are not feeling empowered by using your voice, then your throat chakra is not open. And I would book a distance Reiki session with me, a 30-minute distance Reiki session with me for the throat chakra. If you decide to do that, okay, just when you book it, book your name, and next to your name, put throat, okay? Because it is so, so important that we have this communication, right? This clear communication, not only with others, within ourselves and to the universe. Very important, okay? I love this energy. It's like, that's your, that's one of your main gifts is your voice, okay? And the way you communicate to us. So let's not ignore that gift, okay? Very, very important. Also, what I love here is at the bottom of the deck, it's time to release negativity, which you guys are doing and practicing, and I love that. Now, remember I said you might be um, losing people in your life. That's okay. You're outgrowing the negative people in your life. I remember my very first spiritual awakening. I had lost quite a few people that were friends, and some of them long, like 20 years, right? Um, but it wasn't it, it wasn't bad. I want I want to just express that they they were not bad people, but they were at that everything was negative. And as I was awakening and seeing positive things and being more positive and you know, having more gratitude for life, those people just kind of organically fell away. It's okay. Okay? It's okay to let that happen. And make sure that you are not spending time with people who are negative. And make sure if you have your own negative thoughts, which we're going to have, we're human, make sure you counteract that with a positive thought. Okay? For example, some of you know I, I had all sorts of internet issues and computer issues <laughs> since the hurricane. And I'm telling you, the first thing I thought is, and it's human, right? The first thing I thought is, oh, I got to spend money and fix this computer. My ne very next thought was, I'm grateful I have the money to fix this computer. Okay? So that's, that's what you got to do. Um, and I just said that in a personal reading, too, because it's so important. So releasing the negativity... And I'm going to keep going here because I love this too. Confidence is your key to success. So communication and confidence. Communication and confidence. I'm telling you, you are changing into a whole new person. Sometimes the identity that we have, my loves, is not truly ours. It's what we've been told to believe, what we've been told to think who we are, right? And you're shedding all that. You're shedding it, you're shedding it, you're shedding it because it, it's not serving you. And the true nature of you is coming out, okay? It's like a soul revival, if you will. It's like your soul is finally able to express itself <clears throat> the way it's meant to. And again, with all these changes, and I'm telling you, big massive changes for you, be in the state of flow and ease, like we said in the beginning. Make sure that you are anchoring yourself into this new energy because it's fabulous for <laughs> are you ready for this because this is like wow let's see what we get in the tarot angels guides ancestors show us clearly for taurus show us clearly for taurus please show us clearly beskerm and i'm gonna need a song for this one <laughs> Uh, and I do want to say thank you to all of you for your comments. Deanie Cat always says thank you with her little cat emoji. Um, Florence, thank you. I mean, I could name a thousand of you, but I always enjoy reading the comments that you have, too. And I'm actually interested, guys. Um, Janet from the UK had posted uh, the other day also, and I'm always curious to know where you guys are from. So if you feel inclined to tell me where you live in the comments. I'm, I'm always curious where you guys are at. So, let's see what we got going on here. Show me clearly. Mm, wow. Yep, the Five of Wands. A whole new you, a whole new change. So, the Five of Wands can talk about 
conflict, but it talks a lot about inner conflict with ourselves. Like, are you living the life that others are imposing on you? Or are you living your own life, right? And I feel like that's the big change. Fives are about change. I feel this very inspired change, right? Because it's the wands energy. I'm inspired to change and let the true, my true soul come out in many forms. And having new practices, because a lot of you may not know this, but the Five of Wands is also a card of practice. So practicing new things, again, with that Piscean 12th house energy, breaking old habits. And whether we look at those habits are good or bad, that's not to say, right? We can we have a lot of habits that aren't necessarily bad, but breaking those new habits and replacing them with true, true behaviors that you want to put out there. So I love that. And being excited about these changes. Show me clearly. What is the message with Taurus? Thank you. Yeah, Eight of Swords. We definitely, yeah, you're changing your mind. The Eight of Swords is literally where we feel limited in our own head, but it's not true, right? The Eight of Swords is, you know, in the standard tarot, it's someone standing there blindfolded on and tied up, but it's like tissue paper. You could easily break through. So I actually like this Eight of Swords coming out because it's like I'm no longer going to live in that headspace, right? <clears throat> I'm no longer going to be in that belief system. So big major shift here. Love it. Show me clearly. I think some of you are realizing just how easy it's going to be to break out of that tissue paper, right? That rope. It's tissue paper. I think you just like expand, open your arms and it just breaks. I love it. My goodness. Yep. Here we go really stepping into who we truly are okay it doesn't matter if you're male or female it's just the energy of the card and the empress is the card of taurus right it is the card of great wealth great love great power okay ruled by venus i mean if you're going to be ruled by a planet definitely venus would be my choice and i'm glad it is mine so putting love and enjoyment into what you're doing though okay that's the big thing that i'm seeing right remember in the beginning i said it's all rooted in fun joy pleasure loving what you're doing and the empress she uh she knows how to make shit happen how's that she knows how to make shit happen. She's often depicted as pregnant, so birthing in this new life for yourself. It, it's, do I dare say, being born again, right? Love it. Yeah, so I, again, big transformations in habits, in physical, in, you know, how you look, how you're taking care of yourself, in career for sure, right? Big changes with that for a lot of you. And definitely the belief system. Show me clearly. My goodness. <laughs> Before I can even ask. Look at that six of wands. There will be victory. You're going to get start getting noticed, okay? You're going to, I'm telling you, this is how you get the love. And this is because you're your authentic self. Really bringing out that person in you that's truly meant to be here. Um, being looked up to. So this is career growth, money, love, passion for life. So you're going to get a lot of attention, and that's good. And just make sure you, you're you going to get a lot of good attention. You're going to get a lot of ugh, attention, too, and I will say that, too, because the lighter we are, we do attract more dark. So don't worry about anybody else. You know, it's like, you know who I respect the most are famous people who are not on social media, <laughs> right? Because they don't want to hear it. They want to hear the jealousy, the negativity, uh, and the envy. So, again... If those things come, it's like on the channel. When anybody says anything negative on the channel, I delete what they say, their comment, or I even can delete them. I can block them from being here, right? Like, I don't have any time for that. <laughs> so, again, be ready to be in the spotlight here. Are you ready for this? There is a song playing in my head, too. It's one of those pump you up songs. They usually play them at like arenas for sports. 
and I can't sing, and I can't, I can't I'm trying to get the word out, but it's like, bum, 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 bum. If anybody knows that, <laughs> like that's the that's the energy you need to be in. <laughs> Show me clearly. Yeah, I just got the chills. Oh, I thought a card fell. All right, let's see what we got. Angels, guides, ancestors. I think in that song it says, "Are you ready for this?" <laughs> and are you, my loves? Are you ready for the new you? This is our energy, Earth energy. Pentacle energy, new opportunities, the new you, again, physically, mentally, new karmic cycle, new opportunities. I am telling you, uh, you're going to love this evolution of self here. You are going to love this. Lots of new opportunities that come in from this. Lots. Oh, my goodness. Solid, too. Things are going to stick, okay? Show me clearly. What is the message, please? You guys are going to have the... I'm telling you, it's going to happen. Because they're showing me the Five of Cups not in a bad way. The Five of Cups uh, talks about losing the taste of wine. He is sad because he has lost his taste for wine, right? So, really, you are going to lose the desire for things that you used to love, like, right? You're going to... And you're going to shift in a big way, whether... It, that be food and wine could be but for things that used to bring you joy that's all shifting too so <laughs> are you ready for this is that the name of the song oh i don't know <laughs> show us clearly Oof. angels guides ancestors for taurus show us clearly thank you Oh, yeah. For those of you who don't believe me, you're in for a shock. <laughs> you are going to be shocked. King of Pentacles. So I love this. You're owning, you're owning your own energy, Taurus. Between the Empress, the Ace of Pentacles, and this King of Pentacles, you are owning your own energy. That is our energy. We are Earth energy and owning that. And again, the King of Pentacles, very powerful, very successful, very wealthy, right? It doesn't have to, it, 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 actually, I'm going to say it this way. It, it doesn't have to be money per se, but it is. But it's also anything tangible, right? So your body, right? Like, I know I'm talking about that a lot too. But again, there's also profound spiritual growth here too. So it's very, very lovely. Um, when the tower comes out, uh, I often tell you guys, right, and I do, and I do mean it. Oh, I'm about to lose my computer, hold on, or lose my camera, I should say, not lose my computer. When the tower comes out, it's either something has happened that the universe has created, and it may not feel very good, like a job loss, let's say that, um, to, because you're because you're stuck, and they have something better for you, or some of you are watching this reading going, yeah, I'm creating the tower moment, right? Sometimes we create our own tower moments. Um, so I love that. I absolutely <laughs> love that. And there's the high priestess. That's that Piscean energy we were talking about. And that's the profound spiritual growth, the different belief systems that are going to um, guide you into this new era right into this new era oh my god are you kidding me and then the next card out is the justice card which is karma right and we're talking about a new karmic cycle i said that in the beginning it's like guys look at all this major arcana at the bottom of the deck if some of you don't believe it <laughs> you better believe it <laughs> are you ready for this some of you you're like I don't really think I'm going to change my values. I'm a good per. No, this is a higher level of all of that. Oh, I'm not going to change my uh, my job. I'm happy. It was like that actually happened to me. You guys know this a little bit. Some of you do. It's like whatever, a couple months ago. In my personal astrology chart, too, it kept saying that there was going to be a move, a move, a move. And I thought, no, I'm not moving. Tower came in. And literally, like two weeks later, I moved. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> believe it, okay? Believe it. I love this Nine of Swords in reverse, too, but you guys know that. Getting out of your own way. I love it. Let's see what else we got going on. Are you ready for this? Angels, guides, ancestors. Shows clearly. Also, if you need <clears throat> more personal advice on this, remember... My most popular reading, What Does Spirit Want You to Know, which is your spiritual team telling you what they need you to hear. <clears throat> Excuse me, that personal reading is half off all the way through the end of September. So they'll be, can't do it with that hand, there'll be a lotus flower here, okay? So you can book the throat reiki and you can book uh, a What Does Spirit Want You to Know reading. All right, let's see what's going on. Oof. Holy crud you can't make it up first of all the full moon and this is a full moon in pisces second of all what did i been saying power clarity right that i kept saying the clarity and the power and then i love the culmination here of it all coming together for you okay it's all going to come together for you in a really beautiful way let's see what else If I could straighten out the deck. Hold on. There we go. Moonbo. Hope, promise, and a rare gift. This this is a rare gift. Okay? This, that's why I keep saying embrace the energy. Embrace the energy. Live in it. Breathe it. Eat it. I don't know. It just definitely embrace this energy because it is Taurus time. Right? It's Taurus time. <laughs> Taurus time. <laughs> Show me. Sorry. I didn't feel right. Felt like I was forcing it to come out there. Let's try that. Let's see. What is the message, please? Thank you. Yep. And what did I keep? See, you can't make this up. What did I say? Everything's going to stem from fun, joy, and pleasure. And this has passion, love, relationships, great relations coming in. Could it be love? Of course it can. But remember, the relationship that you that you have with others, new people coming in, work, the relationship you have with money, the relationship you have with home, right? But everything, is, it stems from that passion and love. So that is beautiful to see. So I'm going to grab this other deck here, set this deck down. And let's get some final notes. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe if you haven't, right? Give a free personal reading for every thousand subscribers we get. So that's awesome. Show me clearly. Oh, see? This is a safe journey. I want you to know the journey is not... You might be traveling. There, You could shift like I had shifted homes. That could be part of it. But that could travel can talk about a job. It can talk about a move. Um... But it's this new journey, right? It's this new journey you're going to be on. And I love how it says protection from harm when journeying, right? So you are totally protected and it's supposed to go on this new journey. Show me clearly. Thank you. <laughs> we will definitely take prosperity, right? A prosperous business with riches and success. So prosperity is prosperity, you know, however you look at it. If that's prosperity in love, money, wealth, a new career, entrepreneurship, whatever it is. Um, and I love the bottom of the deck because it talks about the Pisces moon, which is water energy, right? And we've got water at the bottom of the deck. Work with the element of water for healing, purification, and refinement. The new change, the purification, right? Born again, if you will. Um, and using, I just feel like spirits like, because I've been harping on it. Use this energy. Use this energy. It is the element of water, right? So I love this. Absolutely love this. I know this is a longer reading, but so much had to be said and done. So Taurus, my loves, again, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, book your readings, and Reiki over here, and all my love, light, and blessings to you until next time.